Attention. Once you replace negative thoughts with positive ones, you will start having positive results. With this beautiful thought, I'm going to start today's assembly. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm Hamna Muhammad of class 9. Today, we 9 are here to conduct a morning assembly. A program without prayer is always incomplete. The simple part silence is prayer. Prayer is faith and faith is love. So let me invite Muhammad Fahim for the prayer. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن المتقين في ظلال وعيون وفواكه مما يشتهون كلوا واشربوا Thank you for him. And now this is a way to make us aware of our duties towards our nation. So I invite Amal for the pledge. Attention. Pledge. India is my country. India is my country. All Indians are. Yes, my brothers and sisters. My brothers and sisters. I love my country. I love my country. And I am and I am proud of it. Proud of it. Rich and very happy. Rich and very happy. I shall always try to be. I shall always try to be worthy of it. Worthy of it. I shall give my parents. I shall give my parents. Teachers. Teachers. And all elders. And all elders. Respect. And treat everyone with courtesy. I pledge my devotion to my country and my people. In their well-being and prosperity, I don't lose my happiness. Jai Hind. Inspiring thought always has a unique place in our life. So I invite Alan Rafi for the thought of the day. Good morning. Thought for today. Science without religion is blind. And religion without science is blind. I repeat. Science without religion is blind. And religion without science is blind. By Albert Einstein. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. Next, I'm going to invite our new students for getting us updated. Today's news, headlines, Russia committed threat against Ukraine by nuclear weapons. Ukraine and Russia agrees a talk on Belarusian border. 82 students have returned from Ukraine safely and landed on Cairn on Sunday. Kharkiv, the second half city in Ukraine, have dozens of students seeking for refuge in underground metro stations. And they have asked Indian government for a talk with Russia for them to land on their land safely. BJP in a 13 UP. BJP are not in a comfortable position in UP and in a fear in future election. And I called Bayan for an alarm. Namaskaram. Nathar Bhavan Arthaji. Vidhiya Chakku Mel Charcha. Ana Vahidda Vishani Moleki Budi. Vishriyam Ukraini Bed Belarusil Charcha Kyo. Vidhiya Vumbin Nenna Avar Nada Nenni. Ukraine ini adalah negara yang berjaya di dunia raya dan adalah bahasa yang paling populer di mana paling populer di dunia ini mana ada orang melihat di sini. Samstana tanjung di atas tanjung esen itu ada orang yang berusaha untuk mencari orang yang tidak ada di sini. Orang itu pernah berjalan ke tempat yang lebih tinggi. 
ജില്ലാ തിരിച്ചുള്ള നിയന്ത്രണം പിൻവലിച്ചു പ്ലസ് വൺ പരീക്ഷ അടുത്ത അധ്യയന വർഷത്തേക്ക് നിലവിൽ ജൂൺ അവസാനം നടത്താൻ ആലോചന ഫോക്കസ് ഏരിയയിൽ തീരുമാനം വൈകുന്നു ചൂട് കൂടുന്നത് കരുതലും തൃക്കൊടട്ടെ ജാഗ്രത നിർദ്ദേശവുമായി ആരോഗ്യ വകുപ്പ് ഗുഡ് മോർണിംഗ് ധാൻകുറ റെസിഡൻഷ്യൽ സ്കൂൾ അതിർത്തിയോട് ഹാസ് മേഡ് ഇറ്റ് കമ്പൽസറി ടു വെയർ യൂണിഫോം ഇൻ ദി സ്കൂൾ ക്യാമ്പസ് ഫോർ ഫ്രം ടെൻത്ത് ടു ഫോർ ഫോർ ക്ലാസസ് ഫിഫ്ത് നയൻ സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ് ബോയ്സ് ആർ ആസ് ടു ടക്ക് ഇൻ ദ ഷർട്ട്സ് പ്രോപ്പർലി ആൻഡ് വെയർ എ ബ്ലാക്ക് ബെൽറ്റ് സ്കൂൾ ഓഡിറ്റോറിയം ഹെം വർക്ക്സ് ആർ ഓൺ പ്രോഗ്രസ് ആൻഡ് എക്സ്പെക്റ്റഡ് ടു ഫിനിഷ് ഇറ്റ് സൂൺ യൂണിറ്റ് ഇവാലുവേഷൻ ഫോർ ക്ലാസ് എയ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് നയൻ ആർ ഓവർ ഫോർ ക്ലാസസ് ഫൈവ് ടു ഫിഫ്സ് എക്സാംസ് വിൽ ബി കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ടുമോറോ pre-model uh, pre-model exam for class 10 will be started from today according to recent reports students of class uh, class 10th are working day and night and we all accept uh, expect them to score a great result and wish them to uh, wish them for the same just one minute talk in interviews in sahitya samajam where students who also talk during the samajam are made to present a talk on the topic selected randomly thank you have a nice day thank you everyone next i invite boss and music for the word of the day assalam alaikum good morning words of the day dharma 26 and uncorrectable these two are the biggest words in english without any difference dermatologics d e r m a t o n y e h i c s it is the study of skin markings uncorrectable u n c o u y r i g h t a b l e it refers to something that is not possible to say thank you for seeing Next, I would like to invite Fatima NC for sharing some information on National Science Day. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm Fatima from Nine Standard, standing here in front of you to share a few knowledge on this special day. As some of you already might have known, today, 28 February, is celebrated as the National Science Day here in India. It means to mark the discovery of Raman effect. by an Indian physicist Sir C. V. Raman on 1928-28 February. He was then awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1930. So let's learn something new. What is Raman effect? It is the change in wavelength when a light is deflected by a molecule. Let's take a deep look into it by doing an experiment. So here we have taken two beakers, in one of the beakers we have taken plain water and the other one we have taken star solution and, and we have a laser torch with us. So let's pass the laser beam through the water. As now you can observe, we cannot see the laser beam in the water. It is because it does not convey any particles that can detect the light. Now let's Now let's pass the laser light through the star solution. Do you see, uh, do you see a, light, a laser light that emerges from the direction other than that of incoming beam? It is because there are molecules that can deflect the light in the sol star solution. Hope this information was useful to you. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. ാണ് <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Good morning, everyone. Today is a national day for all of us to reflect the importance of science in everyday life. What would we do without science? Probably, we cannot get ready and come to school every day because we have endured that era of technology where all of us inevitably have become gadget friendly. But what about our mindset? We all have to be more and more scientific in our approaches. So the main objective of National Science Day is to bring awareness among people about the importance of science in daily life and also to encourage them by popularizing science and technology. So every year National uh, Science Day is celebrated with a particular theme and for this year the theme is integrated approaches in science and technology for a sustainable future. So I am very glad that we could celebrate National Science Day in our school by holding such a special assembly conducted by Standard 9 and I really appreciate all my dear students for publishing such a wall magazine where you could try to portray all the important information about science. And also they could demonstrate and experiment the Raman effect, a discovery made by Sri Chandrasekhar Venkada Raman, whose discovery has won Nobel Prize for our country in the year 1930. So as students and teachers, it is our responsibility to honor such a great man, Sir C. V. Raman, by contributing towards the field of science through innovations. So honoring scientists like him instill hopes in the future generation to pursue their dreams and to make a mark in the, in the world of science and technology. So it's not just about scientific inventions, but also making the world, our world, our planet sustainable. At the same time, the international community has got a responsibility to protect all mankind from the destructive uses of these scientific achievements and capacities. So you know, it's time for us to make a change that is to work against the nuclear weapon-free world. We have to work for the nuclear weapon-free world and also constrain the spread of all other weapons of destructive view. So let's say no to war and give peace a chance. So with this I conclude my words and I wish all the science enthusiasts the very best to enhance their scientific zeals. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you ma'am. Now it's time to wind up our morning assembly by thanking all party for having a great day. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.